Hello, I'm Overseer Perryman, the senior pastor of Kingdom Life Faith Center, the church that's building people for next level living by teaching them how to live the kingdom life. Listen, the video that you're about to watch is lesson two of a teaching series I started a few weeks ago entitled The Blessing is in Your Commitment. And in this lesson, we're going to deal with how God wants his people to be financially stable and financially secure so that they can help bring in the end time harvest of souls in these last days. So listen, I pray that this message will be a blessing to you. So I'm going to take you into it right now. The blessing is in your commitment. I have to say this, I've got to say it the right way. See, God wants you to be, want to be, want you to be past AFDC. Amen. He wants you to be past Section 8. Yes, he, does. he wants you to be past Social Security. Yeah. Okay? He, he wants you to be past GR. Yeah. Okay, that's nothing against anybody that's on it, because Pastor was on it. I told y'all my testimony. I was getting a check on the 1st and the 15th because I was a single parent. But God wants you to be beyond that because watch now, you are part of a ministry with vision, so therefore financially God wants you to be elevated. This is, okay. Theologian says that God has placed so much money in the world that the least of us could have at least $10 million. So that means that nobody in here is without. Good God Almighty. So that means now that God now wants you to elevate in your finances. For you to say, I don't want it, is a slap in God's face. Because you are thinking about you personally, it's called selfishness. You are not thinking about the others that you can help. Jesus. Okay. Ah, man. Okay. You got you to get this. You can't build churches on your good looks. Okay. When you go down there to pay your light bill, they're not taking your shundai. They're not taking that. They want this. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They're not, they're not taking your dance. They're not taking your song. They're not taking none of that because they need this. So therefore, now church folk got to be elevated financially because God don't want you to miss the money out of your accounts. Good God Almighty. This is what I'm telling you. See, you should be able to write the check that covers the budget for the entire year and not miss the money. This is what I'm telling you. See, God is an extravagant God. He doesn't give just little gifts to us. The Bible said God gave us the world. This is what I'm telling you. You are landlord owners. You own the world. You are not broke. You just think you are. God. See, you got to hear what I'm telling you today. I'm going to preach somebody free today. You Listen to what I'm telling you. God now has put unlimited resources in your hands. It's not for you. It's about other people being saved. This church should have its own recording studio in it. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. God, we should have our own record label coming up out of here. You're missing what I'm telling you. Listen, we should have our own television studio up in here that we can record our own stuff. And if you let me get way out there, we can have our own television network. It's about going to get souls. Pastor, you're way out there now. I already got the television network name. It's called Next Level Living Today. Next Level Living. Come on. You missed it already. It's Next Level Living Today. Why is that? Because God wanted people to live on the next level today. Hear, hear what I'm telling you? It's not about tomorrow. It's about today. So here, here's the thing that people got. You got to renew your mind. You got to change the way you think. Change the way you see things. God wants your resources to be unlimited. Hey, this is Overseer Perryman, and the video that you just finished watching is lesson two of a teaching series entitled, The Blessing is in Your Commitment. I believe that God wants every one of his children to be financially stable and financially secure so that they can help bring in the end time harvest in these last days. The Bible teaches us that money is a defense. It also teaches us that money answers all things. So I believe now that God has empowered each one of us to be financially secure and financially stable in these last days so that we can not only enjoy ourselves, but so that we can help bring kingdom projects and kingdom assignments to pass in these last days. After all, there are many people in this world who need to be saved. So listen, if you want to get the entire copy of today's message, 
Just simply go to our church's website at www.kingdomlifefaithcenter.org and there you can order the entire lesson on the blessing is in your commitment. Listen, if you're ever in the greater Los Angeles area and you're looking for a place to worship, feel free to stop by and worship with us here at Kingdom Life Faith Center. We're located at 7510 South Vermont Avenue in the city of Los Angeles, California. And I promise you that there is a warm seat of welcome waiting for you here. All right, thank you again for listening to us today. And remember, we're building people for next level living by teaching them how to live the kingdom life. This is Overseer Perryman. Have a great day.